Okay. Should we pull a card for tomorrow and do a little tarot teaching while we're at it? Let's see. What do people need to know for tomorrow? It's the Wheel of Fortune. I've gotten that before. Let me see if there's anything else. The Lust card. Last time we got this. this before as well. Two of disc change. Let's just read the Wheel of Fortune and see on the bottom is the Queen of Wands. Oops. I knocked over my wood cards. <laughs> So many stacks of cards here. Okay. Let's see. Fortune. By the attribution of this card to the planet Jupiter, it is made to represent the universe in its aspect of continual change. The appearance of celestial phenomena emphasizes this. In the middle is the ten-spoked wheel. The accepted symbol of fortune. The three figures attached to the wheel symbolize the three forms of energy expressed in the Hindu system by the term guna. At the top sits the sphinx to define intelligence and balance, sativas. Hermanubis in the semblance of an ape. The restlessness, the restlessness of brilliant, unstable reason, Rahas, and at the bottom, almost falling from the wheel, is the reptile headed Typhon, Tamas, a symbol of destruction, slug, sluggishness, sluggishness, and ignorance. The alchemical Attributes of the gunas are sulfur, mercury, and salt. So you can see the three figures. And a lot of this has to do with time as well. And um, I mean, it looks like a watch, so that's pretty self explanatory. But destiny, fortune, like all the kind of things that come to mind with that. And that's it. Three to get change. Change. And last card is 11. So we have two twos here. It's almost like 11, 11. Maybe that's the timing. Maybe you're looking at the clock and seeing 11, 11. That's a thing for some people. Um. <laughs> okay, so I hope you enjoyed that. And you have a great Tuesday. <laughs> Bye.